well hello there and welcome to the channel and in this video me and Lorna are walking around the lovely RHS Risley Gardens and we're going to be having a look at their tropical gardens now I understand it is March so there won't be much to see but even so I'm sure when we get there there'll be uh, something to look at because there always is have you got anything to say Rose gardens are crap Rose gardens are crap So we're in it, we are now in the not exotic tropical garden, garden as Lorna has earlier corrected me, mm -hmm. exotic gardens, because we don't have tropical gardens in the, uh, mm. in the UK because they the don't cope, but yeah, tropical effect, exotic garden. So um, there is still stuff to see, usually in the summer it's an absolute riot, some superb yeah. specimens, but uh, we're going to walk around, we're going to see what's coming through the ground, mm -hmm. you'll see what's looking good now, see there's anything being rather badly damaged like, like what happened last year and um, I just point out what we, what we see of interest so um, what do you want to look at first? I don't know, let's go and have a look at the bananas. Bananas it is. Banana me up. Well here you go, the bananas. Look at these, you see really, they're just moving out aren't they? Yeah. Through the path soon, it's uh, kind of right up to the edge isn't it? Yeah, you can see they just, I mean these yeah. are further behind the nails. Yeah. And admittedly, these haven't been protected, so the ones that are protected, protected which are be. in there, because you always need to make sure yeah. you've got some that will survive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mostly, I mean, look at that, that's, uh, that's what happened. This, this happened all from last year, yeah, yeah. or last, not the winter just gone, but the one before, when, when it got so cold, the yeah. uh, pseudo stems, which is what the, they call the trunks, because it's not a true trunk, pseudo stems, they die back from the cold. But as you can see, all these new bits all grew back again. In the in the spring, but um, Ooh, that's unusual. They're past the perio there, so they've cut that right back, haven't they? So obviously yeah. it's quite it's quite woody there where they cut that back. But it's that red dragon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they can yeah, that one over great, there. Isn't isn't it? Big, it's isn't it? Really come back. Yeah. I do like the red dragon, but I do find that in gardens they quite can invasive, isn't it? Yeah, they can get pretty big. You know, take yeah. over quite easily. They do. See, that's interesting. That's a Paulonia there, and the the key thing about Paulonia is that it does produce a very large leaf, but only if you coppice it. And you can see here they've done a proper job on coppicing that. So although there's no budding at the moment, that should put out some massive leaves uh, like in the early summer. You know, you've got facts here looking a bit naked, but the you know you've got the tetra panics are uh, starting to uh, bud through, which is nice. Now the palms are looking good, you've got quite a variety of palms over here. That's uh, actually a typical um, Tetrapanix, Tetrapanix, Tetracarpus uh, fortunii. We've got another one there. Um, they did have back in the day, look, you can see. Had a Washingtonia robusta, and it was a really big specimen. That stood about four or five metres tall, but um, we had that cold winter two years ago, that got completely ruined and killed off, and there you go, that's what's left of it. That is not ever going to grow back, and be honest with you, no. They probably won't plant those again, will they? Because no. uh, just too much of a risk. Too much, yeah. You've just seen something interesting. What did you want to point out? Tracky of carpets, a very striking bird. Yeah, that's... It, it looks really good how they uh, cut that off. Yeah, usually it's, it's a load of fibrous yeah. mass, isn't it? And bits of old uh, leaf petioles. But they've yeah. they stripped that. And I yeah. think that, that really looks quite nice, that doesn't it? That looks a really good effect, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm over there. They, they've done that really well. It's really unusual. So, uh, I do like that. Is that a um, Uta Capitata over there? I think so, looks like it. Yeah. We'll have a look, just in case I've got the naming of that wrong. So this is unusual, I thought. I thought maybe it was a small tracheocarpus, but it's a, a needle palm. And I've been there in the back of the border, so I've never really noticed them here, but it looks very good. It is quite nice being quite uh, shrubby. It's like a, it's like a palm shrub, isn't it? It does, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it reminds me of shamrocks, but without the trunk, so it's just different. It's like a fatsio, it's more like a fatsio, it's coming up, completely more of a shrub. Can I just show, still my favourite conifer of all yeah. conif conifers, favourite pine of all pines in the world, the Montezuma uh, pine, Pinus Montezuma A. And do you know why uh, they are so called, darling? Is it after Lord Montezuma? Lord. King? Is it King? Well it is, but uh, but I'll explain why. Okay, I was just making it up. It is because the uh, the foliage on the plants were akin 
to the headwear of Montezuma, which if I can demonstrate, <laughs> is almost an exact image of said King Montezuma. Beautiful, beautiful long pipes. Oh, Lona. He's asked me to smell the bark, and I'm not really sure if I believe him or not, but he's asked me to do it on this Montezuma pipe. Are well, you sure? Well, apparently, if it's, I mean, today's not a warm, sunny day, but apparently, if you smell it, it gives an absolutely lovely aroma coming off of it. You said smell anything? No. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid people. On the Just internet. the spiny. Look at it, smell that. <laughs> stick that. Stick that up your nose and yeah. see if that does anything. <laughs> yes, I think it might. Oh, well, there you go, I did get that one right. So, yeah, Bucci Capitata. These are, these are wonderful if you can, uh, amazing, you can find one to buy them. I mean, they're very expensive. So and, if you can, and if you can pick a good one, well, not pick a good one, if you get a choice yeah. of these, you can get these in an absolutely beautiful, steely, blue. silvery blue colour. Yeah. This one isn't? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's because you just don't get the sun. Yeah. You know, maybe that blue comes out in the uh, in, uh, sunnier, brighter sunshine. No, they're so but, uh, they're still so stunning. And uh, other than this, we've got the um, the other really commonly found um, uh, hardy palm, which is the Jubea, which I think they've got over here, but it's quite small. Jubea chiliensis, uh, Chilean wine palm, if I got that correct, mm. but uh, terribly small, but they've got an absolutely huge one at uh, Chelsea, where uh, the um, Physic Garden we really visited last year. Yeah, yeah. Last year. that was a good one, that was a big boy, that yeah. was uh, really interesting, but uh, they just take a really, really long time to grow. But still worth having if you've got big pockets and a big butt. All right, so you, you see that Trachycarpus fortuna in the eye there. It's got not really sort of like long fronds that sort of drip off the actual uh, the, 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 the palm front itself. But uh, if you look over here, we have a different cultivar here of the Trachycarpus with much stiffer, much more formal, rounded uh, fronds. And I, I really quite like these. They seem to be much slower growing. And again, you, you don't see them very often, but you can get them in the UK. But I think it's a much smarter... Much more tidy architectural it's look. Much more architectural. Mm, yeah, it's I completely much more agree. Yeah, that's like a less yeah. formal. Let's go back. What a special. mess. Yeah, that, that's like your, your hippie, yeah. your hippie older brother, and, and that's like the uh, the this cool is very kids. Very formal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah buttoned up. I mean, imagine it's got its tuxedo on this one. It's indeed. looking great. Yeah. Imagine having that as a as an avenue either side of your country yeah, house, it's very which good. we don't have. Um, but yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> really, really nice. And there, there's, there is that star of the show that has been hidden, really, uh, possibly to prevent theft, but uh, you can't steal that now, it's way too big. And, you know, in time that gets bigger, but that is a variegated, extremely rare tracky car for yeah, Amazing. That, 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 that is going to be amazing in the next few years when that puts on some high but that colour sort of shining gold really really stands out <laughs> hello um, is this monkey ah. yes it is yeah. I've got a problem with monkey puzzles in gardens no way we don't keep monkeys <laughs> monkeys uh, just, just, I mean they are structurally architecturally brilliant is it because they get too big I guess get they're too massive big. aren't they they're, I mean don't you, you see them planted in the most inappropriate places for like magnodic around the floor isn't it and you're just thinking that it's just going to cause problems I guess I mean that's going to dominate the whole place here, it? yeah it's um they're just small beds small yeah. beds you see this a lot in botanical in botanic genuine botanical gardens where they'll Try the, and probe uh, bar enough plants in, I Yeah, you put something like that in it, and then in uh, 50 years' time, nothing yeah. else will grow no, underneath it's, it. It's fine. Now, uh, ouch. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why your monkey can't climb uh, it. Ah, a bit spiky. It's fine now. It looks amazing in the juvenile stage, but as soon as it gets mature, it's uh, it's too big. And it'll lose all these, and they get a big stem, and then all the height's up there. But, yeah. Mm. Not everything. 
they done here? Is this a polonia? Do you know what? Just a I don't know. Pollard, I I, you know, I was going to say catalpa, oh, but I didn't want to say in case I was wrong, but it was. I'm surprised by this. I mean, they just don't have the plush cut. It's not even like back to knuckles or anything, so it's not like a collar. That's quite a big... That's a brave cut, isn't it? I, I would, I'd say it's too big. I mean, you will put out a load of extending growth straight yeah, at the top now. that will decay back. That seems um, a bit excessive. Ooh. I wouldn't have actually done that. That's just like almost like... You've been told this, You have been told. That is yeah, not how you do I, that. I, I, Especially that top I, I, one there, which is right flat cut. Here. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Got to the branch colour and, and done everything perfect there. But this one, I, I, I just find that, that that would just start to decay back down. Um, yeah, seems a bit odd. Ooh. Okay, not well, sure on that one. Mm. Aerobotra, can you remember what it's... Uh, Loquat, Japanese local Aerobotra. Mm. Nice new leaf coming out there. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, but on the whole, do you know what? You got, you do have enough structure and evergreen yeah, stuff it looks great. for interest. I mean, there's those yeah. lovely pines again. I, I, do you know what? If I had to marry a plant, I'd marry that. Is <laughs> that inappropriate? Yes. <laughs> um, but there you go. The wonderful garden, exotic garden. I shall give you some time alone with your future wife. <laughs> future plant. <laughs> And there you have it, that is our walk around Wisley's not tropical garden, but tropical effects. Hardly exotic garden. Hardly exotic garden, I don't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> and um, if you'd like to add anything, then you can do so by putting that in the comments. We would love to hear yes. from you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you. It's goodbye from the lovely Lorna. That's goodbye from me, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.